Hey guys, welcome to a new series called Magic Farm 2. Now in this, I'm going to attempt to survive in this crazy modded Minecraft magical farming world. It's been modded a lot from the, from the farm series that you may know. Basically, it's just much harder to survive in this world because hunger goes down much, much quicker and you don't get as much bonus from the food that you eat. Also, everything's harder to do. It's much harder to make tools, to gather to gather all these kind of things that you need to, um, to progress within a farming environment. So what I'm going to do is try and survive in this crazy hardcore. Now, it's not hardcore in, in the sense that when you die, you don't come back, but it is a pretty tough world. So I'm just going to gather what I can to try and survive long enough in Magic Farm 2. And the first thing I'm going to need, I guess, is food to survive. Oh, wild cotton, that's no good to me. Oh, but there's lots of this, though. Now, I'm definitely going to need some chickens. There's some chickens over there. Mushrooms are always handy. What's this down here? Oh, right, a Thorncraft tree. Now, obviously, the first thing to do whenever you start in a Minecraft world is to punch wood and uh, punch trees and get some wood. But I don't want to do that just yet because I need to work out where I'm going to make my base. But obviously, the first thing I need is probably a bed so that when I do die, I can respawn right next to wherever I died. So let's just kill some of these sheep, get that done. Now, I'm going to need a way to stay alive with food. Now, luckily, around the world, there are berry bushes and things that I can just break to get sustenance. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. Some some mutton there. Now, these these sheep drop mutton, which is pretty cool. It's a good way to, 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 to keep alive and eat those. Problem is, now, there's a whole bunch of differences to the tools that you know of from vanilla Minecraft. Basically, I can't make a stone pick or a wooden pick right from the start. What I really need to do is make flint tools using a shovel that I can make, but it's all pr quite complicated. And basically, I really need to use Tinker's Construct to make all my tools. Right, there we go. Now, already I'm getting quite peckish, so I'm going to eat this, whatever this is. What is this? These bamboo shoots on. Now, luckily, bamboo is edible, apparently, and it gives you hunger. But I'm not just going to eat that thing because what this mod also does is it means if you eat different foods together, you get a buff called well fed. Like that, there you go. And that means your hunger lasts a lot longer. It takes a lot longer to go down. Now, mushrooms will come very handy to make uh, mushroom soup. There's some zombie brains. Uh oh, zombies nearby. That's a bit dangerous. Cinnamon plants. Now, I guess I can harvest these cinnamon plants for cinnamon, but I don't need that yet. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm probably going to set up shop. Now, I need to I need to get gravel, the first thing is I need to do. As well as wood. So I'm going to dig a tree to get some wood. Now, I'm pretty excited. Eventually, I want to create a whole sprawling farm, if I manage to survive long enough, uh, in Magic Farm 2. And to start that, I'm going to need some wood, of course, to make the right tools for the job. And I'm just going to dig this tree. I'm going to need a lot of wood to set up my Tinker's Construct tables because I can't use a normal crafting bench to make all my tools like in vanilla Minecraft. Oh no, I need to use Tinker's Construct tables to make the special tools to start with. Right, so that's probably enough wood to get me going. I've got nine logs and I'm going to turn all of that into planks. And that gets me 36, so I can make a crafting table out of that stuff. Great. And I can also make some sticks. I'll need some sticks. So, let's pick a place to live. Now, I fancy this place over here. This is a nice little bit. Bordered by... Oh, and what's that dark area over there? Is that dark taint? Is that a thorny area? I might have to stay away from that. There's a cave here, though, and there's gravel in there. So, I'm probably going to use that. Well, okay. Let's first set up my crafting bench and build my first hovel. So there goes the crafting bench. I'll put down a couple of sticks. Now I'm going to get two shovels because probably come in handy. And I'm going to start digging this gravel down here to get some flint tools. Now, there's a lot of changes, but luckily the mod maker, Jaded Cat, has given you a book, Magic Farm Basic Survival Guide. And you can check this out to work out how you're going to survive in Magic Farm. 
Oh, wow, and there's 32 pages of this, so it's quite a comprehensive guide. Okay, so the tool changes are vanilla, vanilla tools are uncraftable or useless. You need to use Tinker's Construct, and the first tool you have to make is like a, a, a flint tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig up this gravel. Problem is, all this digging is very hungry work. So I really need to go around collecting berries. Now when I get about 32 gravel, I think, is the magic number. I can start turning it into flint. Now, I was quite lucky to find gravel so quickly here. Got a nice little gravel deposit. Here we go. Oh yeah, this is plenty of gravel. This is this is going to do me great. How much gravel have I got now? Thirty-one. Okay, so I'll just dig up this and then get my hell get my get myself out of here. Right, sweet. So now I'll just use some dirt to nerd pole up here a bit, and now I'm going to use my shovel to make myself a dirt muddy hovel. Now mud hovels are horrible to stay in, and I'll probably wake up and have like a worm crawling around my face. Oh, it's gross. All the creepy crawlies, all the bugs and stuff are probably going to invade my hovel like there's no tomorrow. But you know what? That's okay. That's absolutely fine because I only, I only need to live here for like a couple of... Oh my god, a creeper! And it's glowing! Why is it glowing? Why is it... Is it a magic creeper? Rare hungering creeper of venom. And there's a zombie there too. Just in case that wasn't enough. Well, okay, I'm going to combine two birds with one stone and blow up the zombie! Yay! But it's poisoned me. This is a poisonous zombie. Oh my god. And I've almost run out of hunger. Well, okay. I can eat the bamboo shoots and the strawberries. And I might have to resort to mutton chops as well. Oh, please don't poison me, mutton chops. Now, eating raw meat is always dangerous. But if I have one more... Yes, okay, I'm not poisoned. Right. So now I'm going to have an apple as well just to top it off. Keep my hunger topped up. Now, I think I can use wood to make bowls, and I can use the bowls with the mushroom and the mushroom to make mushroom stew. Oh, yeah. And then I can eat one of those. Ah, oh, nice. And that's a whole lamb chop of a meal. That's pretty cool. And this is keeping me well fed. Right. Now, night is fast approaching. So I'm going to, whoops. First up, make a bed with the wood that I've gathered. Sweet. Now I have somewhere to sleep. Uh, I'll plonk that right next to my crafting bench. And then it's time to surround myself in a protective layer of dirt. Now, this is the tiniest hovel you ever did see. But it's okay. Humble beginnings. I'll get somewhere eventually. And, uh, and it's okay. Everybody has... Everybody comes from, you know... A simple background, you know, a simple start in life. We don't all have it easy. Some of us have to, like, you know, live in a mud house for six or seven years of our life. But in six or seven years, when I can finally make the upgrade to wood or maybe stone, I'll look back on this time fondly and just think, oh, yeah. Do you remember the hovel days back when I was, like, you know, in episode one or two when I had to live in a muddy crap hole? Okay, I've already gone through one shovel. So I'm on to the second one. And it's fast approaching night. So let's just put the finishing touches on my hovel. There we go. All she needs now is a door. And they're simple enough to make. And there we go. Oh, nice. Now, I hope in this mod pack, uh, zombies can't break through doors because that would really ruin my day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a mutton chop. Mmm, delicious. And some stew. And I'm going to use this hunger and the time before night... To hang on a second, I might put down a waypoint. Can I do that? In game waypoints, both waypoints. Okay, let's add a waypoint, new waypoint, home. We're gonna have it as green, done, and have it shown. There we go, and now home is always on the map. Okay, sweet. So now I'm gonna use this opportunity to go around and just gather some berries before night falls. So what am I looking at on my map? To the to the west of me is more magical forest. Let's go check that out because there was some good beans and berries in the magical forest before and I need beans and berries if I'm going to survive. What's this? A sapling? What's that up there? More cinnamon. Oh, some rutabaga! Oh, now that stuff's, that's the good stuff right there. Now, I don't want to jump too much because jumping takes up hunger. It's thirsty work. It's hungry work, jumping. 
There we go, some rutabaga, delicious, three of those. What a find. And what's this down here? Oh, cotton. And I can just click this to get it off the bush. Nice. Now, what's this stuff? Oh, some barley. Sweet, and I can use this to make bread. Great stuff. Okay, night's approaching, so I'm going to head back home. I've, and I want to sleep as soon as possible, so that A, I skip the night before any monsters manage to spawn, and, uh, and B, so I set my save location, so if I die, I can come right back here and not be under any, any kind of stress to find my stuff. Or make it back in the night if there's monsters everywhere. Okay, it's night time. Let's have a sleep! Whew, okay, what a night. Okay, well guys, this has been night one of Magic Farm 2.0. Watch me as I survive and try and build up a farm. Next episode, we're probably going to try and get a bit further towards building our flint tools, which means making Tinker's Construct benches and using the gravel we've got to turn into flint to make our first tools. But until next time, guys, take care.